YouTube slash Patreon slash Bit Shoot. Today's video, I want to chime in with a quick impromptu video. In today's video, I want to talk about if you are hanging around people that are putting you in a position to have destructive behavior, then clearly those people are not supposed to be around you. Yes, let me say it one more time for you. If you are hanging around people that are putting you in a position to have destructive behavior, then clearly those people do not belong around you. Now check out this view. See what I'm saying? So, so basically, right? First things first, when it comes to this type of this type of topic, you have to have, you have to know self worth. You have to have self love. You see what I mean? Because most people we already know in this world, they don't love themselves. That's why they hang around people that put them in positions to have destructive behavior. Let me repeat that. Most people in this world don't know self-worth and they don't have self-love. That's why they hang around people that put them in positions to have destructive behavior, right? And that's the thing, like, if you know, like, for example, let's say you're a person, right? You're trying to, let's say, like, it, it, it depends because there's so many different scenarios of how life can go. But let me just give you a scenario. Let's say... Um, I'm going to give you a few scenarios like I always do. Let's say you're trying to get your life together. Let's say that, um, you know, you're trying to make the right decision. Or let's say you are making the right decision. Let's say you're making the right decisions and you're hanging around, you know, good people, people that got your best interests at heart. And what I mean by that is, let's say, for example, you say some stupid shit. And your friend, and I mean an actual friend, they tell you, hell no, nah, don't do that. That shit sounds stupid as fuck. And you be like, no, 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 I want to do that. Like, for example, let's say, like, you say, like, um, this is all example. Um, I want to go spend, I want to throw $50,000 in the club or some stupid shit. And you know, like, and then, like if you got a real friend that's around you, they're going to say, hell no, nah, don't do that shit like that. That's stupid. Save your money, you know what I mean, invest it, or, you know, or spend it on some other shit. Don't just throw that shit in the club. And then you like, okay, okay, cool, right? And you listen to them like, okay, cool. You know what? I'm going to listen to you. I ain't going to do that. And you take that money and you, you you use it while you're in college or something like that. You use it to help you pay off some student loans or some shit like that, right? See, that's somebody that got your best interest at heart because they actually telling you. They're not a yes man. See, most people in this world... They want to be around a yes man, and a yes man is American slang for people who want to have people around them that just tell them yes to everything they say. So let's say, for example, you just saying some stupid ass shit. Now, I should go shoot this nigga right now. You got people around you. Hell yeah, dude. Go do that shit, man. You already know. Go do that shit. Hell yeah. Go slide on the ops, man. Go show that nigga how you rocking. Knowing damn well... You going your stupid ass going to jail. Knowing damn well your stupid ass might get your head blown off. You see what I mean? It's called being hit on the hit. You going to go do a hit and you end up getting your ass hit. You see what I mean? See, people like that. A lot of people in this world, they have yes men around them. People that tell them yes to anything. Knowing they're stupid as fuck. Hell yeah, we should go rob this bank. Knowing damn well, man, we just playing Grand Theft Auto for a month straight. GTA 5, man, they was doing heist. Man, I know we can get away with that shit too. And you go to bed. You got people around you. Hell yeah, bro. That shit, uh, that shit 100, nigga. Hell yeah. That shit, that's what's up. Knowing damn well your dumb ass going to jail. You see what I mean? See, a lot of people have yes men around them. You see what I mean? That's not a real friend. That's not somebody you want around you. Because when you hang around people like that, that's setting you up for failure. And you hanging around people. When you hang around people like that, that's setting you up to put yourself to have destructive behavior, like, like I was saying, like, you can't hang around people that's going to put you in a position to have destructive behavior, excuse me, and if you haven't, and if you got yes men around you, or yes women, whatever you want to call it, you could be a female, male, whatever, but let's say you got people around you that say yes to every stupid ass thing you say, hell yeah, shouldn't I go buy a new Porsche, 
I mean, I, I can't afford it anyway, but I'm going to be looking clean in that motherfucker, though. You know what I mean? No, damn what, well, you ain't even pay your light bill yet. You see what I mean? Like, shit like that. And you got people around you. Hey, oh, yeah. And they get the yellow one, man. That shit going to be looking like a bumblebee riding down the street on some stupid shit. That's a yes man, yes man, or yes women, whoever the fuck you are, man, female, lizard, iguana, whatever. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and, and it's just like this, right? They setting you up to have destructive behavior. Those not people you want around you because they set your ass up for failure. They say yes to every stupid ass thing that you say. And when damn well you know it's wrong, you just want people to agree with you. That's what most of these celebrities got people around them, they, they hire yes men, you know what I mean, because they don't, they don't want real friends around them, they don't want people that's going to tell their ass, no, don't do that, they want people around them saying, yeah, nigga, go do that shit, yeah, no, damn well, that shit going to put your ass in jail, or in the goddamn grave, you see what I mean, so you can't, if you got self-worth and self-love for yourself, you can't be hanging around people that's going to set you up to put yourself in a position where you're going to have destructive behaviors, right, let me give you another example of a good friend. That just gave you examples of destructive behavior. Let me give you another example of a good friend. Let's say, let's say you just you and your friend or whatever, y'all uh, y'all going to school uh, to get y'all doctorate's degree or something like that, right? Just an example. You know, y'all trying to be or y'all getting y'all PhD. You know, y'all trying to be doctors and shit. Y'all fairly intelligent. You know, y'all parents might have money or whatever the case may be. You know, you might have money. And, you know, you're living a good life and shit. Then let's say you go to the fucking, or let's say you see a video, right, of, like, some drill music or some shit. And you're like, damn. Or you watching a, a, a trap movie. Trap movie meaning, like, a hood movie or something. You know, like a gangster movie. Let's say you watching a gangster movie, but you a good person. You a good kid. You ain't never even seen none of this shit in real life. You know, that type of shit got influence over people. And you're like, hell yeah, man. I'm trying, to, man, I'm trying to be in a trap, nigga. Man, fuck that PhD shit. Man, fuck that doctor school shit. I'm trying to be in a trap, man. And so you go to the you go to the store one, you know, the liquor store or something or the grocery store, then you end up meeting some motherfucking wannabes or something, some wannabe hood niggas or some shit. And they telling you, like, yeah, man, just come over here. We gonna do this. We gonna do this, man. We got the drugs. We got this. We trying to sell this. We got all this shit. And your friend look at you and they pull you to the side. Like, don't do that shit. Hell no. Nah. They setting your ass up for failure, bro. Like, all you did was watch a movie. That's a movie. And that movie had influence on you to make you think that you want to be in the streets. To make you think you want to sell good. See what I mean? That movie is pretty much putting a, a spell on you. It's hypnotizing you to make you think you want to do this stuff. And your friend telling you, nah, man, let's get the fuck up out of here. We about to go. And you like, nah, man, nah. You, you actually pull their ass to the side, drag their ass to the car like, nah, we finna go. You know what I mean? That's a real friend. That's somebody that got your best interest at heart because they see your ass going down a path of destruction. And before you even start to go down that path of destruction, they already, you know, put that word in your head. And if that's not enough, they end up dragging your ass and getting you the fuck up out of that. You see what I mean? Or another example. Like, this is an example of a bad friend. You know, somebody that sets you up for destructive behavior. People around you, yes, men, they see you going down the wrong path. They see that you were just doing good in life. You was making the right decisions. And then all of a sudden, you start hanging around the wrong people. And you start going down the wrong path. And they see you going down the wrong path. And there's so many chances and opportunities they had to say, nah, don't do that shit, bro. Nah, don't do that shit, bro. And they not saying shit to you. They just let you do it. They just let you do it. Then when you end up dead, or in jail or something, they want to say, man, I know I should have told, nah, you see what I mean, that's a, that's aiding and abetting, that's a bad, a bad friend, that's a bad friend, it wasn't even no friend anyway, that was just a motherfucker just around you, just for the ride, you know, a so-called entourage motherfucker just around you, just to see what they can get, or just to see what the fuck gonna happen to you, because most people in today's age, not everybody, but most people, they want to see you fail, because they failed in life. You know what I mean? They let other people talk them out of their dreams and their goals. They let people talk them out of that shit. And they fell on their face. And now they want to see anybody else fall. They want to see anybody else fail. You see what I mean? So they're going to let you go down the path of destruction. They're not going to say shit to you. And then when that snake comes to bite you in the face or bite you in the ass, whatever you want to say, then they're going to be like, damn, I should have did this. Now I feel bad. Man, you, you fake from the beginning. You see what I mean? So the whole point of this topic is, and I know somebody out there need to hear this shit because my video is always on divine timing. It's right on time for somebody out there in the world to be like, damn, this shit is right on time. I needed to hit this. The whole topic of this video is, if you got self-love for yourself, you got self-worth, don't 
don't be around people that's putting you in a position to have destructive behavior. And destructive behavior is not making the right decision, not making the right choices, same shit, saying the synonym for the same shit, you know, um, you know, just being around people that's not doing nothing with their life and people that's just other people that's having destructive behavior. You know what I mean? Don't be around that shit. Don't bring that shit into your energy. You know what I mean? Avoid that shit. You know what I mean? It's not that you better than nobody else like that. It's just that you can see, you know, you can see the light at the end of the tunnel. You know that if I start hanging with these motherfuckers, you are who you hang around. You see what I mean? And you're going to start to indulge in destructive behavior. Next thing you know, your life is going good. Next thing you know, your life is all turmoil and shit. Because you, you start hanging around people that put you in a position to have destructive behavior. And that's real shit, man. Wake the damn up. More videos coming soon. You know what time it 